Hi, I am Laura from Beam Objects and today I will show you Aliva from Grupo Ivas Beam Objects for Archicad. Please notice that they are also available for Revit. You can find Ivas Beam Objects both from the Beam Object portal and from the app within the software. If I want to browse some products, I just need to click on the first button and I will be able to search, filter and so on. Now I would like to find directly Grupo Ivas Aliva products. So I digit the brand name in the specific drop down menu and uh, here they are. We can see a preview of the products uh, now available as beam objects. We have seven different cladding systems in material and structure. I choose one of them which I would like to see more information. We have description, links, classifications, regions for the markets where Aliva exports and copy parameters in the BOPC. Now I'm pretty sure I would like to integrate this product in my project, I click on the download button. As you can see, we have Archicad and Revit files. The Archicad one is built up on a macro, so you should always download the micro library to make the actual GSM object work. Now I go back and download the object. If you forget to download the micro library, don't get crazy. A clear warning message inside the object will tell you that you should have the macro library and load it inside your library manager. The warning will also give you the direct link to the product page where you can download it. I can place the cladding manually or use the free accessory tool provided by Archicad for automatic placement. So I choose design, extra design, accessory and wall accessory. Archicad finds by himself our wall accessory and here is our Alva cladding solution. Now we are inside Aliva friendly user interface. I should set up all the parameters as I want them to be. There are panels dimension, gap size, corner detail, material definition, seal definition for doors and windows. As well, we can fix the 2D and 3D representation. In the last viewport, you will find links to the manufacturer website and as well to the beam object product page. As long as everything looks good to me, I press OK and Aliva cladding system will be automatically generated on the wall I've selected. Let's take a look. We have the detail of the 2D corner, which we can change inside the user interface, as well as the window node. If I change my mind, I can download another facade object from Aliva and change my project. Of course, I don't need to download the macro library anymore. Again, design, extra design, accessory, wall accessory and place it. We have all the same parameters as before. I choose that I would like to modify colors. For special project, I can personalize the panel color one by one and those squares appear. Each square is linked to one of these. Now I have my color palette ready to use and it's just a matter of drag and drop to have my special project done. It might be also interesting to see the structure and you can. Just go back in the user interface and choose what you want to hide and show. If you are working for the UK market, it will be necessary to provide COBE data. Thanks to the BOPC, you can download all the component and type parameters inside your object and make your facade project COBE compliant. That's enough for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.